Hello everyone, welcome to another lecture of Swing Application Development. My name is Vrien and welcome to Feel Free to Code. In this video, we will learn about layouts. Okay, so what are layouts? Layouts are uh, responsible for positioning our components in the window. Okay, so I want to give you an example of a classroom. So there is a classroom, for example, let us assume this there is a classroom. Okay, there are hundreds of students and uh, there is a person who is going to arrange these students in this classroom okay this is a person who is going to arrange these students into this classroom okay so he can arrange these students in a classroom like this this is our first example how the this manager can arrange these students in this classroom so first then followed by second followed by third followed by fifth fourth okay like this now this is another example of uh, arranging these students into the classroom this is like one, two, three, four, five, six, and then here. Now, this is a third example. First student is here, second is here, and fourth, fifth, and fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth. Okay. So this is another example of the student setting system. Okay. So like this, we can also arrange our components. Okay. So assume these are components or uh, of our application. This is button. This is text field this is checkbox and this is another component like a canvas okay so there is something called layout manager layout manager okay so this is layout manager layout manager is uh, responsible for managing these component into our window into our com container okay so container is what container has capabilities to hold another components inside it okay so this is a container container and layout manager will set these buttons these text box these all components inside it but in a proper manner okay so if you want to arrange these components in this manner we can call to this layout manager and uh, order them order that layout manager hey layout manager arrange these components in such a way or in such a way or in this way okay so how we can order this layout manager to arrange these components in such a way or in the, just a different way so we will learn in this video okay so there are a lot of uh, ways to arrange these component in a proper manner okay so according according to your uh, requirement you can arrange these component okay so let's see in the your uh, our application okay so there is a default layout manager for our application for this main uh, j panel we will set the layout uh, ma manager for our container okay so i use the container j panel in this application and i set it the layout manager great layout manager this is default layout manager from the intellij idea okay so we can set another layout manager like flow layout so flow layout is very simple layout in the swing application or awt application but how the flow layout works so whenever we type something for example uh, i want to type something okay so let's go to our main frame dot uh, java and type something here okay so when I type A and then B and C, how the A, B, C are arranging in, arranging in this string? So when I type A is inserted here, then I type B, so B is inserted after the A, then I type C, so C is inserted after the B. So when I type another character, the character is followed by the previous character, okay? So in the same manner, we arrange our components in the container okay so i inserted a button and you can see uh, when i uh, click on the button and drag it and drop it into into this panel so you can see followed by the previous button then again drop this button and put it into your j panel so you can see whenever i insert the component in this panel it inserted followed by the previous component okay so just like this okay like this string one and then second then third so this is called a flow layout okay see they the components are insert inserting in in some flow okay flow is left to right okay so now click on the j panel and then you can see i said the layout manager flow layout so this is called flow layout okay so this is what how the flow layout works fine so i hope you understand how flow layout works so insert some other elements here so click on j text field insert it into j panel okay insert it into j panel and then click on another j password field insert it here and then click on j button so these are e e this is for email this is for password this is button so change the buttons text from here uh, click on the button field this is login button okay then 
if you want to change its text double click on the button and change it so login then click on this text field or from here select this text field and then now click on this text field and we want to increase the text field width okay so click on the columns and uh, type here 20 so you can see you can uh, the text field size uh, width is increases now okay so i i am setting it to 10 and then click on the password field and set it to 10 okay so this is what email and password and then login okay so save it and uh, run it okay so there is something wrong perfect null pointer exception but why so back to your main frame dot java and you can see i removed the button hello world okay so this is uh, now this is null okay the default value is assigned to this hello world null and i am calling the uh, calling add action listener on the null value that's why the null pointer exception is throwing from here okay so remove it i change button to login so change it from here then login perfect now save it then run it again now you can see perfectly the application is running now okay so when i resize the frame you can see the login button will be shifted to the next line okay like this okay so you can see this is the responsive design okay so when you use flow layout uh, it will perform like the responsive design so this layout is very easy to use okay so when you insert the uh, and the component inside the uh, main panel or the container it will automatically arranged by the flow layout okay in some flow manner left to right okay so this is enough for this video and thanks for watching